Carol Moore Schulman. I am an artist, a writer, an educator. My culture, my ancestry, actually um, being Sicilian, has a lot of Arabic culture in it historically. In fact, some of the words that I learned as a girl hearing my parents and my grandparents have Arabic roots in them. Not uh, So the Sicilian language has that. Um, so I feel a kinship, perhaps. I'm very interested, I was very interested to learn that um, anyone in Saudi Arabia, men and women, boys and girls, everyone goes to school, and that they are entitled to a free college education. So I say to myself, well, this is really wonderful. Maybe we should be sending more American students there. Um, but of course, they wouldn't be Saudi citizens. But then it led me to, well, there are so many Saudi students that come here to the United States to go to school. So I'm curious about that. The educational system in Saudi is still young. And it needs a lot of experts in the educational system. If you look at Saudi Arabia in the late 90s, uh, we only had seven universities. Imagine that, seven universities, and there, is, there are more than 25 million Saudi. Nowadays, we have over, the, over 35 universities. Uh, that includes like private and also public uh, universities. Saudi government realized that uh, they have to build state-of-art uh, universities. So they, they are in the process of making these universities. They need expertise from Saudis. Dramatically increase in the number actually uh, has, uh, has been noticed in the last 15 years after uh, uh, Saudi embassy here in the United States uh, uh, by order from the uh, custodian of Tuhli Mosque, King Abdullah, the former king, uh, to start that new program for uh, uh, scholarships and fellowship for the Saudi students and fellow as well. So the vision was, uh, we have to send people outside to get their education, not only in the United States. We have the majority in the United States because the United States has most universities worldwide, but also we have many people in Great Britain, in Europe, and in Australia. So the vision was that the, the government would send people outside in order to have the good manpower to run those universities. After they uh, get and pursue their degrees, they will go back to Saudi Arabia. They will run those 35 universities, and this number will continue to increase. We came here to represent our culture and society um, because what we see, um, in, uh, in my opinion and my experience, when I see the negative news uh, about my country and about my culture, that's really annoying me. So I decided to come here and um, tell the people who we are, who Saudi's people are. We are completely different about what they hear about us. Although from all obstacles that has been raised after 9-11 and some uh, cultural, social difference in between Saudi and United States culture, still the American University uh, uh, seems to be the most attractive destination for all of the Saudi uh, students. The attraction is not only from Saudi to American people, it's from American to Saudi people. Both of us are curious. We like to ask and receive answers. Uh, I remember uh, one of my professors. Uh, I met him in his office. Uh, that meeting was supposed to be for only five minutes, but it took more than 10 minutes. So at the end of that meeting, I apologized to him. And I said, sorry, professor, I waste your time. Uh, he responds to me by saying, Saba, you didn't waste my time. I'm learning from you. So I asked him back, what did you learn exactly from me? And he said, Saba, you're coming from different country with a different religion, different culture. So whatever you're going to say, it will be add to my knowledge. Uh, similar to uh, many people from all around the world who come to the United States to study abroad, to be socially interactive, uh, to get a better education, and to uh, attend uh, good colleges. Given the opportunity to attend American universities, I think is uh, a chance that we shouldn't waste as um, as a younger generation, especially here in the states, in the states where we can uh, think out of the box and expand our horizons and way of thinking. 
Uh, so attending um, uh, foreign, I would call foreign um, universities or colleges would help us in uh, learning a lot of new skills, living an independent life, as well as expanding the way of thinking and bringing back home whatever we could benefit our society with. Ask Saudis. Ask Saudis. Ask Saudis.